All right, so welcome everybody to what's gonna be the start of the Red Dead Redemption playthrough. Um, basically, as you might surmise, yesterday, because it's already today, which is hilarious, I know that's a great joke, Rockstar announced that they're gonna be re-releasing Red Dead Redemption 1 on Switch and PS4 and 5, I think. And basically, it's just a straight port. I don't even think it has the multiplayer, which is, again, neither here nor there i'm not gonna get into that but I, i've been talking about playing this game for a while so let's play it why not no better time i could save myself the money i bought this copy on the ps3 for like seven dollars or something back in the day um you know i spent really no no nothing on it it was it was all right and in fairness i haven't played this game oh fuck me okay good i haven't played this game since since it was new 2010 I played it that that spring, that summer. Uh, my friends and I, we would play it. You know, we would play Modern Warfare 2. We would play this. You know, we would play Gears 2, Halo 3, stuff like that. And, um, you know, it was fun playing the multiplayer. I, I, I used to really get into it. You guys might have seen Shawnee Dogs and some of the older content. He was really into this game. Uh, shout out to Shawnee Dogs, who uh, he has a whole channel with, like, Call of Duty stuff and all that. And, um... Yeah, I, I said, you know what, am I really going to spend $50, $60 on a port of a game that I already own twice over on two different consoles? Now, we will not be playing Undead Nightmare because I don't actually own that on PS3, um, but I did play Undead Nightmare way back in 2010, 2011, if you can forgive the really bad quality and the really bad mic audio. Um playing on a dazzle was rough let's say that and i didn't have splitters back then so i had to play on the preview window <laughs> dude motherfuckers today will not know the struggle with obs man i, I would have killed for obs back in the day oh what a what a crazy ass timeline we live in seriously <laughs> had to the preview window would get delayed so i'd have to like click it or, or there was like a button to disable it and re-enable it oh dude that was crazy that was a whole whole timeline ago. Oh. Yeah, the Rockstar Building's in New York. I think I've walked by it multiple times. I think it's like around like 40-something street. Hmm. Red Dead Redemption. I don't think I have downloadable content. All right. We'll begin the single player. Oh, this version comes with it? Huh. Does it? It doesn't say it. Did I buy it? Oh, I mean, we're just going to play the base game anyway. All right. Maybe I have it. Maybe they would tell me to, you know. Here you go. Create a new one. This game saves data automatically at certain points. Do not switch off the power. Yeah, I'll try. My PlayStation locked up right before I started playing this. So I've never seen that happen. Hopefully it's not a recurring thing. Hopefully it's all in the up and up. I don't know. We'll have to see. Like I said, I haven't played this in 10 years, so this will be kind of cool. I'm trying out this new controller I have, which is like an Xbox style PlayStation controller. I bought like four years ago. It's the only PlayStation controller I have that works for my PS3. So, you know, beggars can't be choosers. And this will be good. It's, it's good because I'm also going to play Alan Wake as well this month. Because Alan Wake 2 is coming out in October, so I'll, I'll get the, the sitch on that. Exodus in America. It's crazy to think after all these years, people have been saying, oh, Red Dead 1 on PC, guys, Red Dead 1 on PC, and they don't even do that. That's nuts. Rockstar is, is dropping L's, man. That's, that sucks. Oh, uh, yes. What a beautiful time in America. Oh, you could see the age on this game. <laughs> Not to hold anything against it, but, you know. I love westerns. Westerns are great.
Rockstar Games presents Genre Redefining Action Call of Juarez has nothing on this, motherfuckers. Yeah! Oh, don't get handsy, man. Come on. A Rockstar San Diego production. Red Dead Redemption. They blew it out the park, man. It was an amazing intro, just walking. It's so weird playing this game today. <laughs> Whew. Come a long way. It's a shame it's not a remake, man. Well, I for one am grateful, Mrs. Bush that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased with how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. Yeah, civilization's great. What could possibly go wrong with westward expansion? innocent receives communion they're destined to go to hell uh, it hardly seems fair what i mean well i never said it was fair is that there is a great deal god of hates you he hates me too and a savage i never thought of it that way yes they live like animals but they're happier now oh. we're getting into it right off the bat huh all right Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly. <laughs> sure. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Work of the devil, Jenny. Cease the sinning. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor. Which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this is not too late. Not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently, the Johns family have made a lot of money. And he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. Absolutely. Oh, shit. She was on to something. <laughs> what you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other. And who let you worship in peace. Wait, what? Plenty of people kill each other in the East. What? Father. Father, that's a load of bullshit. I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. Oh, Jenny, you but stupid you whore. Shut up. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. Armadillo. And so it begins. We're off the boat and off the train. <laughs> Hello, sir. Go to the saloon. All right, right off the bat, uh, <laughs> we're gonna, I'm gonna probably only render this in 30 frames. I'm gonna tell you that much. I'll save me some rendering time. All right, really quickly, let me make sure, okay, everything works. What about for, uh, I am using headphones, but I'm not gonna mess with that. There's cheats in this game? They're unlocked through entering code phrases in the options menu. Really? 
Oh, shit. Unlocking a cheat by entering a code phrase does not disable. You have to use it. Oh, wow. I didn't... This, dude, this is like probably one of the last games to have cheats. Yeah, when you really think about it, it probably is one of the last games to horse control, horse relative, camera relative. Uh, we'll do horse relative. Flip R1 with R2 and L1 with L2. Southpaw auto save. Okay. Uh, anything else? Kill effect. Here we go. We'll turn on subtitles. And then that should be. I, I didn't even know this game had cheats. Dude, no game today has cheats. That's insane. This is good, though, because I've been wanting to play like GTA 4 as well as this game. So this game will have to suffice. All right. To run, to t sprint, you tap. Gotcha. It's a little, little sluggish. I don't think it's the controller. I just think the game is just slower than what I'm used to. Get a load of this here, Jezebel. You must be John Marston. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends. I'm pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. All right, pretty cool. Uh, about and then what? Okay, sure, we could square up if you want. You discover the deadly assassin outfit. Uh, I think that's DLC. I don't remember buying the DLC for this game, but whatever. All right, here we go. Okay. There you go. There you go. <laughs> It's R1 to slow down. All right, I'm, I'm relearning this. Gotta, gotta get used to the horse again. So it's Fort Mercy you wanna visit? That's right. Ain't taking nobody up to the fort in a long time. Strange place for a decent fella to wanna visit. If you don't well, I ain't a decent face. fella. Who said I was a decent fella? Yeah. It's been abandoned for years now. Folks say it was built during the Mexican War. Yeah, you, go. you can match their speed. It's so few games do this. It's crazy. This and like Assassin's Creed Brotherhood do this and Revelations. Maybe they got tired of being soldiers and went looking for gold. You know how things is. So what are you doing up at the fort? I'm looking for an old friend. Well, like I says, you ain't gonna find many folk around those parts these days. The bar on the so left, you okay. About as sociable as an old three to back to you. <laughs> I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but... Well, but don't mind if I do. For a long time. You know, the clouds still look good. I'll give them that. The clouds still look really nice. <laughs> look at that sunset. Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. No, no thank you. I'm married. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> well, no, I'm loyal to mine. I mean, especially after the hot coffee mod from San Andreas. I don't think they want to mess with that yeah. too much. I'll well, be honest with you. Who hired me. Lee Johnson, do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guide. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. Yeah, the less you know, the less you have to answer to. Good lord. You want to get involved with all this crazy shit? You ain't very talkative, are you? Nope. I'm just <laughs> the dog, nope. That's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you better off not knowing. And too true that line is, man. Too true. I'll tell you, Mr. Marston, those coyotes eat better than I do. <laughs> <laughs> not far now, Mr. Marston. The fort's just over this hill. It's got all the usual stuff. You know, you can look at stuff while you're riding around and driving and whatnot. It's cool that, like, GTA 4, like, kind of fixed up all this. Listen, San Andreas has its this charms, but yeah. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. 
This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. I have myself the best of times. <laughs> And the worst of times. Well, let's see who's home. I wonder how this is gonna go. I haven't played this game in a long time. I forget how this goes. <laughs> Obviously. That looked like a ghost. Did you see that? That didn't look right. Now that's spooky. Undead Nightmare's the other way. Bill! Bill, I've come for you! Bill Williamson! Come out here right now! Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. No, I think you're stupid, you but something like that. Idiot. <laughs> that ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's a lot of you guns. Look like I need saving. Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> this is the part where you go for cover. Well, things are different now, John. You failed the speech check. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you. What about Arthur? Implores you. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well... Yeah, that wasn't gonna happen. Why is it golden? What the fuck? We got all the crazy DLC. I've never played this before. As you saw, I've never booted this before. Why is his revolver golden? <laughs> Alright, anyway. That's it. That's your redemption. You're red and you're dead. I guess they all went in for, like, tacos and beer. I don't know. The fact that they didn't turn him to Swiss cheese is already crazy enough to begin with. New friends, old problems. That's right, the intro mission is uh, just a startup. Can you replay missions in this game? That government boy, there you go. See, I told you, I've never played this before, so any DLC is as installed as just, I don't know, maybe I bought it digitally and then I bought it again physically for PS3. And I never thought I was gonna play it anytime soon. And just, I don't know, it just kind of struck me like a couple months ago. I was like, you know, I should play this game again. No better time like the present. I'm only getting older, so. Didn't much like well, this game. Alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was. Oh. I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. You got the bullet <laughs> out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. Oh, shit. That's American health care for sure, you. Adam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. 
Or, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarland. Miss Bonnie McFarland. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? Just trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Hey, he never like changed. Thank you, miss. <laughs> you see my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. Oh, don't worry. That's my job. I'll bear that in mind. Like, fall off a cliff. Marston can't swim in this game, so you could actually drown. Alright, there you go. Join Bonnie. Yeah, so, objectives are marked with circles on the map. I'm not really sure what the color means. Uh, I guess yellow is for places, you know, blue is for friendlies, red is for enemy... Enemy Marston, personnel. Back in the land of the living, there I you think. go. Figured it's about time I started paying back that fifteen dollars. It's been like five minutes. I sure can use an extra pair of hands around here. Let's see if we can get you back in the saddle. All right. After you, my lady. What is our focus on? Just her? Yeah. Okay. the foreman's office it's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws such as yourself <laughs> I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now Miss McFarland I picked out a fine horse yeah I'm gonna try to stay on the good side of the law on, as usual see what a real ranch looks like. because I'm a good guy Come on, boy. Oh, this is a boring horse this is like a generic brown horse there you go. Don't worry. Uh, maybe we'll try to hunt down the legendary horses. I remember I did that in my original playthrough. And uh, we'll also try to get um, Manifest Destiny. That sport. We'll talk about that later. In high fashion, but yeah. it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. Well, down here in Texas, we know what we're doing. This is one of the finest states in the Union, Mr. Marston. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've yep. stolen more horses. Oh. Now, where'd you get such an idea? First <laughs> impressions are hard to erase. Listen, That's I'm a good team. guy. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished. Bringing in Very nice. all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. It's kind of a deep line to say, but she's not wrong. If it make if it makes things worse, why change? Mm -hmm. That's the barn over there. Doesn't stop people though, but you know. When I was just a little girl. Okay. <laughs> for a while before we head out on patrol. That was like two minutes. <laughs> Ride your horse to the hitching post. You could save one horse at a time. Okay. There you go. This is like the GTA equivalent of parking your car in the special place. drink mr marston thank you ma'am getting shot then riding a horse seems to take it out of you 
I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. All right. I think this teaches you about saving, maybe? Oh, okay. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watching? He got the vest on. Okay, good. Evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. I like this. I like this early start we to the game. We got the this repeater carbine. How do you change weapons? L1, okay. What does R1 do? Oh, no, I know what it does. We don't have it yet. Okay. This is cool playing this, man. I'm getting a flashback to that nice 2010 era where every game was fire. Keep your eyes open and try not to get yourself shot again. Oh, no, this time I can regenerate. It'll be fine. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, <laughs> I got a bigger gun. Rich and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. Okay, nice slow patrol. Uh, it's kind of bumping me into the fence, but it's, it's not stopping me, so I think we'll be fine. Look, those damn rabbits are at the crops again. Get down and give me a hand, will you? Okay. Come on, man. It's time to put that bloodlust of yours to good use. Get rid of the wabbits. Well, I think that should be enough to get rid of them, right? Oh, sh oh this, this is a terrible controller for aiming. Oh, this is awful. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> Someday I'm just going to have to actually buy a real controller. Okay. <laughs> yeah, circles reload. I think all these controls are different from GTA. We should keep moving. There's still a ways to go. This will probably be fine for like adventure games, not so much shooting. If it's not the rustlers stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city, become a lady of leisure. Oh uh, no, some people just love it, man. There you go. Yeah! Exterminating. The fox has gone to hen house. Where is it? Oh shit. Ah, uh, I didn't want to do this. Somehow I'm already fucking up mission one. <laughs> there you go. I don't know if I saved the chicken, but it's better than nothing, right? Looks like that was the last of the coyotes. Just a shame we had to lose any of the chickens. Come on, I'll show you the way to your room. Boy, are you gonna clean up without me? Don't don't you at least want to look out? Damn, the coyotes are ruthless, man. They killed like four chickens. How could you, you possibly know, you run a business losing four chickens every day? It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. Yeah, what a genuinely good person. This is you, Mr. Marston. Yep. Uh, okay. <laughs> we get separated from your horse, it returns to the hitching post outside your house. Then you also whistle for it. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarlane. All right. Sleep on the bed in your room to save your game. I think it also advances time by, what, six hours? Yes, if you sleep, you'll wake up six hours later. This is a common staple in Rockstar games. You also pick up extra ammo from the trunk in your room. 
that I level one of three. Now, you can't actually uh, progress it later or until later. It's, it's part of the story that you upgrade your dead eye. So you don't have to worry about that right now. There you go. Change outfits. Apparently, I have other outfits. Oh, okay, no, never mind. I was going to say, like, how how the fuck are they telling me about other stuff? It's really weird that this is even a thing. Maybe it's like free DLC. Part of some update, because I did update this game. So, I don't know. Okay. Some people even deal in valuable information about the surroundings in the form of maps or newspapers. Okay, well, let's save the game. We're getting off to a rocky start here. I'll have to get used to this. This stick is going to be terrible, man. Okay. It's, it's, it's not like a typical controller. It's like some weird, like, alternate brand. I don't even know how to say it. It's, it's not a normal controller. <laughs> but it's the only, like I said, it's the only one that works and doesn't disconnect constantly. So, at this point, I take what I could get. There you go. All right, I'm leaving my horse. <laughs> it's time for another Bonnie mission. The obstacles in our path. Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarlane. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind? I do mind. <laughs> I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale. And by telling you, not only will I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets, so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. Uh-oh. I hate to take money from <laughs> Oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. I'll get bucked off my horse right now. Yeah, she was on the train in the opening cutscene. All right, I like I like that they have a... Uh, I think the other ones are maybe random encounters. I think at least the preacher one is. Uh, okay, there you go. Go to the race start. Yeah! something you would think would pay off a little bit later you know instead of right away like you would meet like maybe halfway through the game or something three two one all right go i trust you're not gonna be a gentleman about this you don't know me at all miss mcfarland yeah. anyway <laughs> oh these this you horse is really slow this, don't you uh, yes. Let's go. Neck and neck, Miss McFarland. There we Watch go. You learn, miss. You gotta get a good rhythm so your horse doesn't lose stamina. Are you okay. saving the best for last? Should I wait for you to catch up? There's a lot of shit talking, man. Shit. Ooh. How you doing back there? Who set up all these flares? Come on, these campfires or something. I bet you're starting to regret your brave words, Miss McFarland. Would you like me to slow down? Yeah. As you can see, she's pretty close. Uh, yikes. Let's go, Miss McFarland. Yikes. Uh, I might actually lost this, please. You're lucky I'm being a gentleman. 
Dude, she's a ridiculously Yo, rough rider. This sure beats milk and cows. <laughs> You're not as bad as I thought you'd be. I'm doing pretty terribly, all things considered. Don't go easy on me. Dude, this yeah. starter horse is insane. I guess whoever's in first just shit talks. This horse is terrible, though. Dude, I can literally feel her. This is gonna be close. Come on. Let's there you go. <laughs> Very nice. Wow, that was a little bit neck and neck, a little bit too close for comfort. This horse has like no stamina. <laughs> sure. I gotta get a carrot on a stick or you something. Know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. I think I get paid for that, right? How much money do we put down on that? Alright. Immediately there's another Bonnie mission. I mean, we could do that or we could go talk to Marshall Johnson. Alright. So in order to do that, as you can see, I think they show you the whole world map right away. Right? So this is the whole world map of the game. Uh, there's also trains that you can like rob and things like that. But for the most part, the way this game works is that it's divided up into three different segments. Uh, we're, you know, there's Act 1, Act 2, and Act 3, basically. So I guess maybe we could try doing this. Uh, there's also a couple of places along the way that you could try to like rob and stuff. So as you can see here, there's Fort Mercer. Um, I guess they're not named on the map to begin with, but later on they will be named. So let's go hit up Marshall Johnson, I guess, before we do uh, something else. How do you whistle for your horse? There you go. Oh. It's funny I remember that after all these years. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I think back in the day I tried to get like a bunch of the outfits. I got a bunch of the achievements for this game. You know, there, there was a lot to it, which is why I really liked it, you know? It was refreshing. It was different. Uh... Yeah, just in general, it's it's nice. It's one of those games I wish I could have shown, you know, some of the older people in my family because they were alive or soon to be alive around this time. And I always wanted to get their opinions on things. Like I had family members visit LA in the 40s. So asking them, you know, how photorealistic LA Noir was would be kind of cool, you know, stuff like that. You know, people that remember what, what this stuff looks like, you know? That would be kind of interesting to get their take, their opinion, you know, hear about their life stories and stuff. That, that's that got to be its own kind of content, right? What the hell is going on here? Especially from a classic like this, you know? Again, back in 2010, man, we were eating good. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, uh, Mass Effect 2, Alan Wake, Bayonetta, Darksiders, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2 was in full swing, Black Ops 2, or Black Ops 1 was late. Was it Black Ops 1? Yeah, it was Black Ops 1 later that year. Um, hold on, what else? Let me, this headphone, this headset is kind of awful. Why is this doing this? There you go. Uh, what else? We had a bunch of stuff. Heart Gold Soul Silver came out that year too. Uh, yikes. Do you not know how to drive a carriage, dude? Absolute insanity. Anyway, here we are. You don't have to hitch to hitching posts all the time. Political realities in Armadillo. Let's 
Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> Oh. Shut up, you. Now, what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did? Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come on, what? You, you getting cute with me, boy? What's going on here? And why is it golden in every cutscene? Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Oh, no. Put your gun down. I wanted blood, damn it. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. I think there's some school children down the way you can go and fry. <laughs> Party fucking whore. <laughs> what are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My yeah, who wants to lead a charge and die? Clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister. And I'm here doing what I can. I mean, yeah, he's only well, one man. Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon needs shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early. It's just a start. Four days. There'll be more. All right. Tell you what. <sighs> Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. Sounds good. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. Yeah, <laughs> he's just gonna stay there. Oh, keep marking them days, boy. The saloon's this way. Yeah, what the fuck? I have no idea how everything's red. Or gold, rather, whatever. I'm the ancestor to Goldfinger. Get out the way. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent Yeah, it's controlled chaos. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. Yeah, don't enforce. They don't offend, we don't enforce. There's the dumb rat bastard now. Let's follow him. See what kind of hole he crawls into. There you go. Teach you about whistling. Let's get after him. Damn, he's seen it. 
Come on, don't lose him. Uh, where's my horse? Do not kill Walton. Oh shit. If Walton's as bad as you say he is, why don't we just beep him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality and he'll be telling me Holy what I shit, look at him go. Walton gang's been growing fast. That lawn's easy money for easy work. Chola Springs, Gap Tooth Ridge, these boys get around. Walton's the start, but there's plenty more where he came from. Yeah, some of these names are familiar. Walton's Gang is a faction in PvP, which is kind of cool. Uh, dude, what is this horse doing? Let's go. Oh, <sighs> man. Up at the old Pleasant's <laughs> house. Let's hold up a minute and find a spot for our horses. All right, you stupid horse. Get out of here. Looks like we got company, boys. Damn. Take cover. We'll work our way up this hill. R1 is to enter and exit cover. Okay. Oh, shit. Woohoo! There you go. I think he's done. I think he'll be needing a new kidney by the time we're done here. I got you covered. Take that To vault, move towards it and press R1. Okay. To blind fire. Uh, okay, we're not going to blind fire. Alright, nice. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. All right, shoot him in the legs or take him dead. There you go. Well, your killing days are over. It'll be trial and the rope for you. Not a bad shot, Mr. Marston. There's a good dead eye there Check as soon as he steps out. Now. Gotcha. I don't mm. want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. Yeah, pretty good guy. I'm just doing what he can. Yeah. That's why it's the political realities of Armadillo. There's only so much one lawman can do when there's like 20 gang members he needs to fight and kill or capture. But our good friend is now uh, going to get the rope. He's crossing over to the other side, folks. Stupid coyotes. What the fuck? Honorable people react negatively to low honor and dishonorable people react negatively to high honor. So yeah, this game is a karma system as a lot of games used to have. It's not some common anymore, but yeah. And yes, you can skin animals as you're seeing, okay. Okay, open your satchel and choose the camp item with the kit menu, or we could travel around and just, you know, see what's out here. For battle, you can search the fallen bodies for cash, extra ammo, consumables. There you go. You save your game from anywhere in the wilderness. It's the select button, which doesn't even exist anymore. It's crazy. <laughs> okay. Well, God damn, man. All right, basically, it's, it's free fast travel. There you go. Yeah, there's a lot of things to do. There's there's hunting. There's, like, you know, raids, basically, to do. There, there's different places you could bust into and find stuff. 
there, there's no health in this game, unlike Red Dead 2, where you have like a health bar and things like that. Um, I think you have a health bar, right? I forget how the core system works. I prefer this system. You just have a set amount of health and it regenerates over time, basically. Again, it's the usual for the time. The screen gets bloodier the more hurt you are. And then, you know, not taking damage lets you regenerate. You, you've seen this if you played any game in the last decade, basically. Wait, why do you leave his horse here? What? That is so weird. Where did he even get the horse from? I, I don't know. Okay, anyway. There you go. Pleasant's house. Sure, let's do another mission. Try to be very productive tonight before I have to go to bed. Unfortunately, this will probably be a shorter part. I guess I'll upload this literally today. I'm going to set my alarm and try to have this up so I have a video for today. And I don't have to move Final Fantasy 16 around. Yeah, crazy I'm saying that. This is the same year as a... Alright, relax, relax, fucking horse. This is the same year as Final Fantasy 13. <laughs> And, by extension, 14. Man, I love horses. Yeah, right. <laughs> I've ridden horses before. It's okay. Oh, shit. Five Finger Filet! Yo, Five Finger Filet is great, because you could just cut yourself a billion times. All you do is you lose. You don't actually, like, cut a, cut a finger off or something. And I cannot play poker, so that's not happening either. I think a long time ago, I played poker in this game. It was like Red Dead Redemption, like, mini games or something. I just ran around and did stupid stuff. I don't even know what to tell you. There you go. Strangers. They took my boy. My boy. Who did? He's missing. He's only a youngster. My boy is missing. Where? Who took him? Them people in the hills. Them hills near Hanging Rock. They took him. <laughs> yes, you could say the hills have eyes. Oh, they can't even help themselves. Please, sir. My son is missing. I need your help. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. I'm on search for the boy by Hanging Rock. Uh, where is Hanging Rock? task can be started continue and completed at any time oh okay i thought there was like a time limit for it all right oh here it is oh shit i remember this mission yeah all right american appetites Back to the next part is on the map. You've already visited the location. We mark a purple. Otherwise, the general area will be highlighted with a purple circle. Okay. It's a lot to try to remember all at once, but uh, I'm doing my best. It's pretty basic, but at the same time, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to make any assumptions. I want to make sure I know what I'm doing. Let's go. Uh, actually, I don't think I should come this way, right? Yeah, okay. The the waypoint is it, it's okay. God damn, it's a Bugs Bunny cartoon up in here. Go. Oh no, I wonder what's going to happen. There it is. Well, um, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, folks. Something tells me, uh, he's fine. All right, so we have to wait a little bit, and then there will be a second part to it. So, uh, yeah, sadly, this uh, this boy of ours is uh, D-E-A-D. -E well, I wanted to pop something up there, and it didn't. Let's go. 
What we need are more all-terrain horses. That's what we really need. Wanted poster. Uh, let's do another Marshall Johnson mission. It's actually kind of sad. You don't actually even have to go back to her and tell you what you did or did not find. I think that would actually have been kind of kind of interesting, kind of fun. Being able to say, yeah, I tried to find him, but all I found was one bone and uh, a boot. And blood that looks like red paint. But yeah, sadly, there, there's nothing else to really get from it. As you can see, she's not even here anymore. You wish. Okay. Have anything in the store, by any chance? I forget, like, what, what upgrades they even have. Uh, thank you. How can I help you? How are you, friend? Medicine, chewing tobacco, apple. Refills horse stamina. Chewing tobacco refills the dead eye meter. It's expensive too. Oh, great. <laughs> That's a tough decision. All right. Well, it's all good. We have to wait till we get more money anyway. Okay. Justice in Pike's Basin. Hello? Hello? It's Armadillo 731. What is it with these things? These Hello? new fangal contraptions. New line. Hello? Hello? Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. If it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshall! Marshall! <coughs> Marshall! I'd just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I seen me a couple of them rustlers. All right, let's they go rustle some rustlers. And a couple of Mexicans. Are they up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. <laughs> back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right, well, that was mean, go. damn. You ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. It'd be my pleasure. Oh, this dude's just chilling. He's out on a vacation. <laughs> uh, where are you going? <laughs> How long you been working for the government, Marston? Long I enough. Well, I got a telegram from some federal clowns in Blackwater that says otherwise. Are you some kind of vigilante? You don't look like no government, boy. I guess it's complicated. I came because it was made impossible for me not to. You sure are a tight lipped son of a bitch, mister. I guess I am. I ain't gonna dig this hole no deeper. Well, ain't you all proud and superior? Don't forget you need us more than we need you. Bill Williamson folded you up like an empty person last time. Damn, everyone knows, huh? Simmer down, Jonah. Listen to your boss, Jonah. There's a good boy. Otherwise, I'll put a hole in your hillbilly head and watch your tiny face <laughs> right now. Hey, Marshall, you know someone uh, died up here, right? I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshall. Neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouse city boy who's never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Nothing, I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash came in a wild land. We're nearly there. Keep your eyes out for the ballers. Just think about what he said. It was made impossible for him not to come. Everybody dismount. Follow me. All right, here you go. Let's 
move up the canyon. It's interesting how loaded the dialogue is, man. I'll use the cattleman. We're probably going to be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on firepower, neither. Let's see how many there are. I'll use the golden fire, gun. Good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears, Marshall. Nope, nothing yet. Yeah, they did have raids, basically, in this game for multiplayer. Yeah, you could do gang hideouts and stuff. Oh, shit. Oh, well, then this asshole walks in the way. Ow, that looked pretty painful. I can't take it all by myself. No, is it is that technically beyond the range? No, it's not. Very nice. You boys take the left fork. I'm going this way. Marston, you can tag along with me or join the deputy. Let's go right. Let's join him. <clears throat> Why not? My God. Stop falling behind! We gotta push forward. See, the other thing this game does is it marks where the enemies are, on, as you can see. Just make sure you don't slow me down. Damn you. Got him. Popped his head. Look out! There's two behind that rock. All right. Well, what the fuck? I don't think he's dead. Oh, that's him? He's still standing there? What? Okay. He blended in with the rock. Sorry, I don't, I don't know. He looked exactly... He, he was rock colored. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'll be looting. Thank you. The Bollard Twins outfit. I cannot believe they use the Willem scream. Oh my god. I'm playing a game from the past. Literally. Is this just slow mo at this point? Yeah, it is. Okay. You better surrender. You hear? Help me out here, will you? I already killed him. Alright, let's move down and take those bastards in the camp. Alright, he has cattleman revolver ammo, which is nice. I like using pistols in this game. I mean, it's supposed to be a western. I mean, yeah, you could use carbines, but it's just not the same, you know? Okay, well, down in front, dude. There you go. <laughs> Oh, this game is so brutal. It's delicious. OMG. There you go. You know it. Thanks for dying on me. I guess we're going to be full on uh, repeater ammo, huh? Let's go. Be careful. I think I spotted some snipers. Eyes up. Sniper. Oh, shit. I'm giving you one last chance to put your hands in the air. There's like no cover. What the fuck? Good God. Goodbye. Is that him up there? No, okay. It's this guy. Got him. Yeah, the auto aim sometimes lags a little bit. So sometimes it's just easier and more in your favor just to, you know, uh, cover. It's easier just to use dead. Jesus. It's easier just to use dead eye like this and then free aim. Especially with this controller, I'm going to need every advantage I could get, basically. It'll get the job done. 
Not much more than that. <laughs> Out the way, you two. You fucking idiots. You dickheads. This looks as good a spot as any. Gather around, listen up. Let's try to sneak up on them. The closer we are, the less chance they have of making a run for it. Oh, he said to sneak up. Oh, oops. Yeah, this game is stealth. I think you do stealth kills. Like, it's like San Andreas a bit. It's not great. Fire wheel, boys. Try to keep them cats off. Ah. Get those thieving bastards. Where are they? Where do you go? I can't even see them from here. All right, anyway. Here's one. <laughs> Dude, I forgot how great and satisfying Deadeye is. There you go. Does it recharge over time, or I forget how you recharge it in this game? All right. Yeah, but looting during combat is great. I love it. What are you waiting for? Do something. You got him good. Hell no. What a bunch of idiots my teammates are. Meanwhile, I have to do all the work, basically. Looks like the ballers won't be rustling again anytime soon. Quick, let's get those hostages free. <sighs> Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. All right. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. He had to shake his hand. He's like, oh, you well saved done, me. Mr. Love you. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. Say that again. Well, one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. West Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. West Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was doing town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman. Yeah, the snake oil. Love it. Out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. Yeah, talk about grateful. I'm so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli. Oh, I'll hang around here. Man, this is cool. Just look at this. It oozes that Xbox 360 Golden Era charm, man. <laughs> Baller Twins outfit menu entry added. Nigel West Dickens can be found in Chola Springs. Excuse me, partner. I ain't getting fresh. Man, but you won't be needing that anytime soon. <laughs> oh, I thought that horse was frozen. Okay. Alright, we can place waypoints. I mean, I've been doing that already. You know, you know how it is. Um, we could go back and do the Bonnie mission before we do the Nigel West Dickens. Uh, yeah, let's go do the Bonnie mission. Yes. Mix it up a little bit. Uh, whoa, horsey. Yeah, horse relative is better. I don't, I don't want to do camera relative. It's going to feel weird. Now, you see, this is how you do an open adventure game, man. 
include all manner of stupid shit that you could do, you know? Let's go. <laughs> Even just so far, you know, we've, uh, we've really gone, uh, well, what, half of the first half of the game, which is kind of nice. So, yeah, I love that. There's a lot to love about this. I wonder what the last thing I did in my 360 save was. Well, besides beat the game. Okay. <laughs> this is Armadillo USA. This is Sparta USA. Ah, Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Miss McFarland. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> Take the reins, Mr. Marston. You bet. Approach the driver's seat and press triangle. Yep. You're looking much better, considering you were Oops. almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needed... Do wagons have stamina? We last spoke? No, miss. I have not. Well, that's... Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Yeah, oh, how do we end up in this mess? Enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to argue with <laughs> and neither one works. Neither works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. You're just never going to win. The only way to win is to not play the game. So not play, I shall. I think it's kind of funny I found you dying on the side of the road and now you're driving me into town. You have a strange sense of humor. Well, you must admit, it's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Miss McFarland. Oh, oh come please. on now, yeah. Now being funny. <laughs> Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Miss McFarland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. Yeah, but I'm forced. There's nothing I can do. Forced to do what, I wonder? Hmm. And by whom? And for you whom? I have a small holding up in Great Plains. A farmer? Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me? So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? Howdy. Uncle. Well, he's not my uncle. As far as I know. <laughs> Just an old dog who's as lazy as a lizard on a hot day. You kind of fell a laboring under the delusion that age brings wisdom. Uh, sounds like the perfect person to leave in charge of your entire livelihood. We go way back, and I didn't have a lot of choice. Can we try to stay on the road? I'd I mean, we are. If I was you. That's what I'm trying <laughs> to do, miss. It's a lot of interesting dialogue, man. Especially, you know, having played Red Dead 2, seeing all the pieces fit together is pretty nice. It's a good touch. So Manhattan it is not, but it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. What? I guess I was supposed to do this one first. <laughs> Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Okay. So I guess we get one free medicine, basically. How would Armadillo get by? Hey, mister. 
See? Free. There you go. Thank you. I love it. Thank you. All right. Medicine stored in the satchel. War horse. I'm assuming this is... What is this? Faster and stronger than normal. Yeah, it's a deed. I guess they gave everyone this for free. Okay. Completely restores your health. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try oh, yeah. I guess I should have done this mission first. <laughs> save you this time. Much appreciated, Miss McFarlane. If you want to leave Armadillo, there are usually stagecoaches loading and unloading behind the freight station. Very nice, I got honor. Alright, there's another Bonnie mission. You can now purchase and rent properties marked with a house, like Monopoly. Okay. Purchase ring, you can save your game. Each location has a hitch horse and extra ammunition and items. What? What are you doing out there? Whoa. Uh okay, so what do you want? We could do the Nigel West Dickens mission. Let's do that. Just mix it up. Well, we'll probably do this, and then I'll probably call it. What is going on? Uh, there you go. Well, I, was it was it a bad thing to even do? Uh, I guess not. Good deeds, large or small, are known by populace and law enforcement to perform. This eventually leads to shop discounts. Yeah, I got honor, so it was a good deed. And I got, well, you always get fame no matter what you do. So anything you do in this game gives you fame, but honor is, you know, the usual good karma, bad karma, all that stuff, so. I blasted his ass. I fucking blew him away, man. <laughs> Try shooting birds or skinning coyotes. Oh my god. Could you imagine having to shoot birds? Got it. Yeah, it, it's hard. It's a lot of... Oh, shit! Oh, <laughs> oh shit. There you go. Blame Darwin. <laughs> yeah, I, I love all the quips, man. This game has really good dialogue. Whereas GTA 4 is just like, I'll cut off your fucking head. John Marston is just hilarious, dude. Ooh, very nice. Okay, there you go. These wolves want to make problems. I'm happy to solve it. Nothing major. This is dirty. Only the skinning was a little bit faster. That, that is one of those things. If you want to skin multiple animals, I think you have to skin them one at a time. I think the only time you don't have to skin them one at a time is if you, you like, glitch it. So you press triangle. Like, I think we got it earlier. An animal died on top of another dude when I was doing the Walton mission. Um, and because of that, it just skipped the animation. Oh my god, how could there be this many wolves? Are you fucking kidding me? I just started the game. Okay, now they're gone. What? 
What is going on? People like animals? This is annoying at worst, or at best, and just savagery at worst. How could you like animals? Things are a barking goddamn mess. Oh! Duck, duck. Did they kill my horse? Uh, I think they did. <laughs> uh, yeah, they killed my horse. Wow. I, I can't believe they actually killed my horse that easily. Okay, so one of the achievements in this game is actually, like, kind of missable. It's, uh, it's called Spurred to Victory. Basically, you need to have your mount for a set amount of missions. So I will try not to lose my mount. Um, maybe I'll start to save just so I could get it. That'll be kind of nice. There is a horse coming up soon that's, like, pretty durable. It's pretty tanky. It's a good horse. So that's probably the mount that I'm going to run with the entire game. Again, I'm assuming that most people that play this game or who are watching this have played this game. So, like, you, you know exactly what mission I'm talking about. It's coming up, I think, towards the end of this chapter of the game. And basically, from the mission, you get it. If you never lose it and you never swap it out, can I skin my horse? Yes, I can. Okay. Let nothing go to waste, my friends. Let's make this quick. Oh, yeah. I gotta get that big, jagged ass. Nice filet. Ugh. Sweet. Woo wee. Looks like a Silent Hill dog. If you ever play Silent Hill, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> there you go. Nice little hey. chop. There you go. Who? Oh, but they killed the guy. Oh, well. I tried. That's unfortunate. I didn't see that he was holding him hostage. I thought I thought they just looted it and they were walking off. Oh, well. It's unfortunate. Yeah, there, there's random events like that. I can't reload? That's weird. Maybe you can only reload on horseback once you empty it. You have to go on foot to reload it early. So yeah, we'll try to get spurred to victory. It's actually a pretty cool thing when you actually pull it off. Other than that, that's like one of the few things I know. There's also another achievement to kill all the buffalo. I talked about it a little bit earlier. Basically, there's, I think, like 32 buffalo in the game. And if you kill them... <laughs> and if you kill them, um, it's an achievement. But it's actually a very glitchy achievement because if the buffalo commits suicide by like running into the lake or running into a river or falling off a cliff, you can't get the achievement because it doesn't count as your kill, you know? So yeah. All right, let's do this uh, West Dickens mission. There you go. Old Swindler Blues. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. You need help? Mister, you alive? Fucker, fuck. God damn it. Good heavens. Excuse me? I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? You look pretty good for a corpse. Yeah. Praise be. Play dead. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor. Or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. Uh, St. Peter, open up them pearly gates. I'm coming home. Oh. <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. Hurry. 
Sorry, sir. I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. Where? <laughs> Just focus. I'm bleeding out of orifices I didn't even know I even had. You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. I'm finished. Done for. Just sit up straight, will you? All right. Head for armadillo, friend. Press L2 to draw a weapon while driving. Oh, I, I wonder what's going to happen then, huh? What is your name, friend? John Morrison. Oh, good God. Out of the frying pan into the fire. Excuse me. How many outlaws can a man encounter in one day? You must have me mistaken. <laughs> Uh-oh. They're back. I'm done for. Oh. So it looks like you got them all. Now get me to a doctor. What the hell happened? Oh, its health goes down even if we drive off road. Okay. Scoundrels robbed me blind and left me to die. That's I guess that's to force you to actually ride your way to the end of the mission instead of cutting across the you know the big desert. Oh shit. No idea. I'm not the kind of man who has enemies. You do now. I give so much and still they take. We live yep. In yes, sir. Grace this world, friend. Our maker has a funny sense of humor sometimes. Still, at least I met you. What have we stopped for? Oh my God! And then they immediately <laughs> complain. <laughs> We're never gonna make it with one horse. You're killing me. Oh uh, yeah, I am. All right, he's dead. Dude, I cannot believe he loses health this much, man. Oh my god. I can take right now. Leave the driving to me. I'll go as easy as I can. Just that armadillo. Come on, hurry. All right, well, we made it at least. I can't believe you immediately lose one horse at 60% life. <laughs> sleepy. Very sleepy. Oh, you'll be fine, you big baby. <laughs> We're here. Stay with me. Oh, oh. Where the devil are we? Armadillo. We made it safe. You'll be happy to know. Well, minus one Thank horse, you, but sir. close enough. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but I appreciate the civility. I owe you, sir. And I always pay my debts. Oh, Jesus. But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for, for. Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for. There you go. Let him get some rest. All right. So we will have more West Dickens missions. Oh, okay. Sometimes these PS3 versions are pretty glitchy, man. I know Fall of New Vegas is apparently really glitchy. All right, Nigel's wounds would take some time to heal. While you're waiting, you can further explore New Austin. Well, that's a good idea. Um, the only thing I will do is, is I will save now. Uh, I think I have to go out a little bit out of town to make camp. There you go. Even further out. God damn. I like how they play that little sound effect too. Just to make sure you know you're being stupid. Nice. Thank you, game. There you go. I like this. I don't know why they removed this from Red Dead 2. But yeah, it's it's free fast travel wherever you want. So you, from here you could change outfits, you could see what you need. Here we go. We have the gentleman's attire. It allows you into high stakes poker games in Blackwater. Um, as you can see, for some of these you need to do different things, like for example here. Walton's gang outfit. We need to search a certain place, complete a job, play uh, poker, etc., etc. Same thing here with the Bollard twins. And then there's others later on. Um, I mean, we could wear the gentleman's attire. Maybe we'll wear it later on. I don't want to wear it right now. You get fast travel, right? Opens up the map. Very simple, very straightforward. So lastly, we will save. And next time when we play, obviously we'll play way longer. It's just today for right now. 
It's it's late. It's got to be like four in the morning almost. I'm tired, so I'm just going to chill out. But you know what? Happy to play this. Feels good. It's it's, it's always entertaining. It's 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 a it's a good time. So very nice. All right. See you.